Hi everybody, this is Solomon Schmidt from HistoryBites.com. Today we're going to talk about Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus was born in 1451 in Genoa, Italy. As a young boy, he dreamed about going to sea and exploring. When he got older, he wanted to find a faster way to get to the East Indies in Asia. So he decided to head west to find a different route. At that time, in order to get from Europe to the Far East, one had to travel by land through the Middle East or sail all the way down and around the tip of Africa and go on from there. Columbus thought that traveling west would be faster because he and everyone else in Europe at that time didn't know about the existence of North and South America. While he was living in Lisbon, Portugal from 1477 to 1485, Columbus learned how to navigate a ship and make maps. In order to complete his journey west, Columbus needed money to buy ships and food for the trip. He asked King John II of Portugal to support his journey, but the king said no. Finally, in 1492, after Columbus tried for several years to convince them, King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella of Spain decided to buy Columbus three ships, the Santa Maria, Nina, and Pinta. On August 3, 1492, Columbus set sail, and on October 12th of that same year, he landed his three ships on a group of islands called the Bahamas, which is very close to the United States. The problem was that he thought it was the West Indies, which is why he named the people there Indians. He also discovered other islands in the Caribbean Sea. Columbus became very famous for his first trip across the Atlantic Ocean and made three more before he died. He received the title of Admiral of the Ocean Sea. Even though he did not discover America, he inspired other men to explore, some of whom eventually settled in America and established colonies there. Toward the end of his life, Columbus was made the Spanish governor of the island of Hispaniola. However, in 1500, he was arrested for bad leadership and mistreatment of the Indians and was brought back to Spain, where he died several years later in 1506. Christopher Columbus was one of the most well-known and influential explorers of all time. Comment below and tell me if you know where the two graves of Christopher Columbus are and why there are two. Please give this video a thumbs up Click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with all of my videos. And until next time, go learn your history.